Hey guys, just uh, give an update here on the garden. Unfortunately, uh, I was alone putting the garden in and I uh, did not get a chance to do a video. Uh, camera battery was actually dead. Couldn't wait, had to get it done. I wouldn't break in the weather. So, uh, but the three girls here, uh, they did good. Uh, they're exactly what uh, we said we were gonna do. Uh, use a uh, different implement on each one. And uh, they worked well. Actually, uh, first time I ever used the 55. Um, and I was pretty impressed with that, uh, the uh, reverse. Um, uh, and using the reverse was very good. The speed changer didn't impress me at all, I tell you. Uh, I just kept it at a high speed, um, regular. Um, I really, uh, personally, I was not impressed with the speed changer option. Um, I know uh, any of you guys out there have one. Um, but anyways, just thought I'd touch on that. Got the garden in. Finally, all that rain we had and everything, we just could not get this garden in. So it was just unbelievable. Actually, a couple more things I'm going to stick in. Some more lettuce and spaghetti squash. But uh, we got uh, 12 tomato plants in there. Uh, six uh, eggplants. 12 zucchinis. We got some cucumbers down in the back. We said we're going to just throw some uh, lettuce and spaghetti squash in later on today. Um, I spread things out a lot further this year than last year. Last year it turned into a bit of a jungle. And uh, I always put the cloth down because I don't have the time to be going in there and doing uh, the weeding. I just don't have the time. I always put the cloth down. Uh, works out great for me. Um, actually that blue cloth you see in the back there is a giant old uh, pool cover that um, is actually like a uh, fine mesh screen. Um, the water gets through it, you know, um, and it works out great. So uh, anyways, we got the garden in, and um, finally uh, able to move forward a little bit here with the spring. And I um, just wanted to show you one last thing. Try to always try to finish my video off with something a little different. And uh, I was thinking here one of my properties, um, and came across this skull on the edge of the pond one of my properties. I am not the hunter, okay, I'm not an expert by no means, uh, and um, did some research online, and everybody's saying, oh, it's a deer, it's a fox, it's this, it's that, because everybody turns into an expert when you ask them, uh, ask them about something, but anyways, did some research online, close as I could find, that matched up with this skull, was a coyote. Those, uh, you see those canines in the front there? Missing the lower jaw, and the lower jaw on the uh, skull I see in the side, it was common for them to be missing. It's a very small jaw, uh, hinge jaw. Uh, very deep, big eye sockets on there. Just trying to give you guys a full view of it. You guys want to take a stab at this, what it is. You know, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, how many conflicting ideas we get on this. Uh, but anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. It was actually sitting on the edge of the pond. Uh, I was weed whacking around one of my ponds, and um, you know, there we go. We got a 55 dB with a hood ornament now. Oh, come on, that is pretty freaking cool looking. I don't care what you say, that is freaking funny. Holy shit. Um, anyways, what do you guys think? Give me a shot. I'm pretty sure it's a coyote, but then again, I don't know uh, how it would have died other than falling into the pond uh, when it was frozen, possibly and drowning, or. Uh, the only other predator we have in this area big enough to kill a coyote is really a bear, black bear. So, um, anyways, just thought I'd throw something different in here. Give you guys something to, uh, contemplate. Alright, I think that is really funny on that hood. It's a freaking hood ornament. Alright, guys, that's it. Just a quick update on the garden, what's going on here. Alright, thanks for watching. Welcome, Daniel.